Hi, I'm Mick Garris, and today's Trailer from Hell is from 1970, the heyday of the drive-in theater, at least for me, the Arrow Drive-In in El Cajon, California, Count Yorga Vampire. I saw some of my favorite uh, lurid, scary movies at the Arrow Drive-In in El Cajon, and it just brings back so many great memories of getting to second base for one of my first times in the car. Um, but beware the subjective camera. This is, it's great to see a, a scene played out to open the trailer rather than just clip, 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 building some tension before paying off with a vampire at the window and a freeze frame, Count Yorga vampire. Uh, setting a vampire movie in contemporary America was not really common at that time. Hammer had done a little bit of it, but uh, moving from the old world dark fairy tale to something modern audiences could identify with was something that uh, AIP was really good at here. Um, I actually saw The Return of Count Yorga before I saw Count Yorga, and Return is actually a little bit better movie. Um, Robert Quarry was more a Lugosi character than a Christopher Lee, uh, even his, in his kind of anachronistic vampire drag. Um, he was uh, not very leading man-like, but he made a really great vampire. Uh, he has recently passed away, and uh, he was very popular in, uh, at conventions and the like. Um, like the Hammer films that preceded it, uh, a major emphasis is on the sexuality, obviously. In fact, it started out to be a softcore sex film called The Loves of Count Yorga, spelled I-O-R-G-A. But Robert Quarry would only agree to take part in it if it were made into a mainstream horror movie. And AIP needed to get a PG rating, or in those days it was a GP rating, so it could play the largest number of drive-ins across the country. Um, the ratings board wanted to give it either an X or an R, and they had to go back six different cuts to get the GP rating. I actually had to go back five times to get an R rating on Sleepwalk. AIP was going to do a sequel film that pitted Count Yorga against Dr. Fives, but the sequels for both of those movies weren't really successful enough. And uh, so that never happened. The forbidden cravings of another world they band together as his slaves. It happened to them. It could happen to you. Mm -hmm. 